Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Keytino. Welcome back to another FIFA trading video. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to smash the subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned and stay up to date with all of these new FIFA trading methods that are going to earn you guys millions of coins. This one's quite a simple one, but it is very profitable and very easy for you guys. I will show you literally how we've been doing it and what we've been making. So as you can see, uh, not that one, that was a bit of shadow trading. If we can get, I uh, don't know, five likes in the first uh, day of this upload, then I will be sure to make a shadow trading method for you guys. A few other people have done it as well, but um, I found some cool filters that work for it, and I've been making quite a lot of profit using some of them, especially people like Rusalon and Klosterman. But anyway, this is the one that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, silver trading method for you guys. We've seen all of these guys sell. Uh, doesn't look like too many, but we've still... I've been selling them all day. I haven't been keeping them there. Uh, as you can see, this is our first list, uh, these guys. And we've still got a few to sell here. And, yeah, we managed to pick up a semi Ajayi for 800 coins. This guy goes for about 3.5k. There you go. You can see 3.7k. When I look, the cheapest on the market for him was like 4.1, so I just undercut to hope he sells in this video. But for a player like him, he might take a, a bit longer because he's quite a high-end silver. As you can see, um, I do like silver trade, and I've kept literally all of the top flight uh, silver players on my transfer list. So yeah, it's, uh, you got Spanish, you got Italian, you got English, I've got a few French players, uh, German... Yeah, all of them are just there, but let's get on to the video and let's show you guys how to do it. It's really simple, really effective. All you're going to want to do is... Uh, there you go, there was me checking semi drives price. So what you, what you want to do is find a league that you want to do it with. This it will have different price ranges for every league, so make sure you check first. But, plain and simply, we're going to do it in the Premier League for this example. So we go Silver, Premier League. We're going to go to Basic Chem Style. That's because if we go any... And go like 650 coins. Uh, I'm actually going to grab him. Oh, he's gone. Uh, of, of course he has. He was up for a while. But uh, sometimes you'll find a goalie pop up. Now, goalies don't actually sell for as much as we'll pick him up. Oh, okay. We missed him as well. But um, goalies don't actually sell for as much as what... Well, usually, anyway. I'm not sure why none have popped up. But usually goalies don't sell for as much as other cards. So, uh, yeah. We put on basics so and goalies don't come up. Um, yeah, there's no point picking that one up. But what you're going to want to do is go to 800 coins uh, as that. Well, I know that at the minute it's 800 coins. But what you guys are going to want to do for the filter is find when you have a bunch of cards coming up. Like this, for example, you could, you, you could possibly do 850. Yeah, so uh, basically you have to ensure there's a maximum of three cards over the hour mark. Now, the way to do this filter is uh, I like to get my thing set on by now so I can snipe the player a lot quicker. Just as you see, if I move, it's still there. So I only have to go X like that rather than down. It just saves a little bit of time. But you're just going to want to compare price back out and you get a few cards pop up. Now, we see that I think 750, they would probably sell on drop. That's what I was selling them for. Uh, 750, they were selling quite nice and quickly. So usually I just, uh, anything under around uh, 650 coins and under, I will pick up. So we're just going to want to compare back out, compare back out. There's an Aaron Connolly. I didn't actually do my thing. I might have got that if I had it on the buy now already. But you can see how this works. There's one that popped up for 300 coins. And you're easily going to be able to sell him for the 750 coins like that one there. So anything under, you guys can snipe him normally if you want. And just go to the 650 coins, however much profit you want to make. And um, just, you know, normal snipe by, say we go 650, just like this, like you normally would. But I prefer to just set it to around 750, 800 coins, however much it's going for at the time. In uh, this case, it's around 800, 850. Then go to where there's not too many past the point. I oh, would have gone out, yeah. So, um, yeah, just set on the buy now. And as I said before, compare price back out, compare price back out. And, yeah, it should pop up next to, so there's, like that, but I'm not going to pick them up for 700 coins. It just doesn't really warrant it. 750, uh, I like to pick them up for about 650 and under, and then we're all good. So, 800 coins. I want to grab one for you guys in this video, but they usually pop up quite a lot, but it's approaching 6 o'clock, so people 
Uh, sometimes the market, oh, I didn't even look at his price, 500, he would have gone by now. Yeah, my bad there, I, I should have grabbed him. But um, yeah, sometimes people don't sell, sometimes the market becomes more active, but yeah, it's all, it's all dependent, but 700 coins. As you can see, my coin total's already gone up from when I started recording, so you can tell they definitely do sell uh, for that coin margin, I'm presuming. There's one for 600, can we grab him? There you go, 600. So, even though it's not a lot of coins profit, uh, pick them up for 600, we can just sell them for 750, it's really easy profit. Uh, you only get 5% tax, so on lower end cards, it's, even though tax shouldn't really be in the game, on lower end cards, you really don't notice it too badly, hence why you can pick them up for 650 and still make profit. Uh, what is sold? Semi dry Isa? No, I think we just sold a bunch of the silvers, and that's what's given us the coins, let me just check. Oh, the semi Ajayi did sell. We just moved past him. I'm not sure where he was. But yeah, so the semi Ajayi sold as well. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. So yeah, 3.7k. As you can see, you can grab some of these cards that literally will make you so many coins profit. Um, that is literally all I wanted to show you guys for this video. If we can get five likes within a day i will show shadow trading and also what you see in my transfer list is i've been experimenting with a bunch of different trading so um i tried out bronze pack method uh i actually think it's working they take a few lists obviously because it's bronze pack method and they always do but i have sold a few of them already uh, after like two lists i had probably a page sell so yeah, I'd say it's probably working, but I'm going to experiment more. But I will bring you guys some information about that as soon as I've got enough research to actually back that it's working. Because I don't want you guys to lose all your coins. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe, comment how many coins you have and how many you want to reach within a month. That's something new. That's what I want you guys to do. So comment how many coins you want to have in a month of trading and sniping and rewards and whatever you guys are doing to make coins just let us know in the comments down below what where you guys want to be so yeah if you are new around here and haven't already please do subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll